Hey everyone, welcome back. So, if you remember last time we managed to get the Master Sword. Oh, it's not gonna let me pull it out. Okay. Um, and when we came back to Hyrule to try to figure, to Castle Town, not to Hyrule, whatever, <laughs> to figure out what to do, we got e or an email. Oh my good lord. A letter asking us to come to Tulsa's Bar. So, that's where we're gonna go today. There's a group of people back there. Oh! Oh my, if it isn't Link. You made it. Have you been, honey? Well, you did kind of ask me to come, so. Oh, well, I guess I should have saved that for this one. <laughs> Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey! Hey, everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Link. You remember what I told you before, honey? These are those friends I mentioned. The ones who are trying to help deal with all the trouble in Hyrule. The troubles in Hyrule, whoops. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the eastern desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older na- older nan? Older man named I- Aru. Aru, there we go. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey. Will you stop calling me honey? <laughs> I get really confused every time honey shows up for some reason. So why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to them. Hey. Oh, hello there. You must be Link, correct? Uh, are the only other person in the bar. And Telmo just yelled out that I'm late, so it must be. I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telmo told me all, all you've been up to. Why can't I read today? You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading. But I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the hi history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Alright, sorry, had to fix my headset real quick. At the moment, I'm absolutely entranced by the sky beings known as the Uka. Uka. Yeah, well, you could have them. Yes, according to legend, Hyrule was made by the Hylians, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the gods. But also according to the legend, long ago there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Hylians. When they created the people of Hylia, they simultaneously created a new capital, the city, a, city that's, a city that floated in the heavens. Wow, cannot read. They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings, isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't give to meet them. Well, I mean, you can come with me and I'll introduce you to one. But let's talk to him. It's Ashie. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the re regiment. I almost called it regime, and I was like, that's not right. Uh, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain in the north of Hyrule, is unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there happened there that happened on no other mountain not I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Do you have anything else to say? Don't go to your snow peak for a while, yeah? I'm looking into it more now. But trust me, that's no ordinary mountain. As soon as I have more information, I'll let you know, yeah? Okay. Hello. That was very informative. Let's try that again. It has been a long time. Link. Hey, look! It's, uh, like, don't remember your name. 
<laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time, yeah. Uh, my wife, Yuli, sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakariko Village. And of course, I have also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin Link. I barely recognize him. In any case, I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I have connections with them for a long... I've had a connection with them for a long while. Oh, wow, well, can't read. Like the others, I am gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. Is that all you have to say? Um, apparently, yes. Okay. Um, how's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that Shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Ronaldo is a talented man, for sure. Anyway, anyway, honey, you got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Listen, honey, if you're puzzled about what you ought to be doing, why not go see a friend, Aru? Aru, Aru, that's how I said it. <laughs> He's a man who knows things. Uh, Eastern Desert, okay. I actually do kind of need to figure out where. So let's look at the map. No, I want to look at the map. So, that old clodger, Aru, 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 I'm going to say it differently every time, is at Lake Hylia studying the desert. Okay. Well, we could run there. You know what? La la. Alright, well, it was nice seeing you. Um. Hello? What to order? What to order? I do believe I'll start with meat. Is there a reason you're sitting on the floor? Like, th there's literally a chair here. There's a chair here. Uh, uh, there's one over here for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they're not really chairs, but like, you, you can sit on them. You have to sit on the floor. Alright, um... Should be good to do this here. You need a Two. Yes, travel to the lake area, please. Hopefully I don't spend forever trying to get there. Oh, we're doing this. Alright, uh... I think I need to come over here. I don't know if I'm going... It looks like I'm going the right way, but I don't know if I actually am or not. Oh, sunset. <clears throat> I'm getting closer to where it tells me I need to be, so I must be going the right way. I thought the roof was a person for a second. Oh my god. Link, Link, climb. Okay, that's weird. That is not an upwards direction that I am holding the uh, control stick, but he, he's climbing up. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? You do know Telma, don't you? I am Aru. Hey, I got it right this time. I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I have heard all about your de deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert that come to investigate, you know? Or am I mistaken? Do you know... You do know, don't you, Master Link? 
The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Well now, where have we heard about a mirror before? Now that, now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. But this desert at world's end, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place. So I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Ah, oh, is that so? Then let go then let good old Aru, Aru I did it again, help you out. You see Lake Hylia below us? A man named F Fire? Fire, yeah. Runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. Okay. Oh, oh. I know what, what this is. See, long ago I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, all shall go should go well. Alright. Okay, I did land in the water. <laughs> I was really afraid I wasn't going to. So. says Oasis Flight, right? So here you go, one of our secret options not available to the general public. This time's all paid for, so what do you say? You wanna go? Yep, let's go. Okay, yeah, uh, next time I gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole! Yep, this is how we get in the desert. Game, he gets shot out of something lately, isn't it? Okay, so we're now in Gerudo Desert. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadow? What do you think happened to the magic wielders? who tried to rule the sacred realm. They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely. The antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines brightly. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. 
Moving to the bed, gradually, the pulse came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, Fluthy in the half light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the Twili, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? You would be one I am a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. It was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all the Twili into shadow beasts. Ooh, what's that one? That, that one's a creepy looking thing. Man, Zant, it's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there. I could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. Jenkins. But there's another tale told by my people. What does well, the goddess has forbade us to return to the world of light. They left one link between the light and the darkness. This man called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. This new and bound is our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. My pupils? You'll come with me, won't you? <laughs> well, Minda, we, we kind of already agreed to, didn't we? Alright. So. Down through the desert. That's some really cool sounding music. There's a hole in front of me. Okay. How do I get across this? I just realized I don't have my arrows on anymore. Okay. There we go. I gotta use you, don't I? Not close enough. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like whatever that is. I don't like whatever that is. to go underground, okay. Uh to do it, please, but not Whoa, or not back, back to wolf. Back to wolf. We go. We got. We got six. Is that what we're up to? Okay, can I turn it back into a human now? Jeez. Okay. Uh. I. I don't actually. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, pots. <laughs> Don't seem to have anything in them. And lanterns. How... How do I light lanterns? Well, we'll, we'll worry about that after. Look, let's go back up here. It'd be nice to actually get to our destination <laughs> before I have to stop. Okay. Where's... Oh, 
I did was blow, blow off the heart. Oh, I know what I have to do. break through the wall here. So, this way? Not this way, but there is a chest here. And it's probably gonna be rupees, right? Oh, arrows. Okay, I can do those those. Okay, so this way? There's a bow over there. We're not going to get to where we need to be before the end of it, because I... Prison here. Uh -oh. Well, that sucked. There we go.
Maybe I just need to run. to get in here. Alright guys, I will see you later. Bye!